Namaste. Morning. Concentration gives us the knowledge. It awakens the dormant centers in our bodies and the brain, especially if you practice yoga, therefore yeah, attaining our higher potentials. However, too much of this knowledge could hurt our spiritual journey because this could lead to attachment. So to balance things out, so we need to do something similar but a different approach. And this is awareness or mindfulness. Where in concentration, we really you know, use our mental power to focus on an object or a technique at hand. In awareness, yes, we use the brain, but we just observe what is inherently there all along. Yeah. Our mental faculties and our, um, I'd say, motor skills are very busy looking for things. Yeah that we tend to miss uh, the beautiful gift we have all along. Awareness amplifies our understanding. And this is beautiful. The knowledge you gain from the practice of concentration, yeah. you add the gift of understanding, yeah, and this leads to tolerance especially if you're a teacher, because students will approach you and they all come from different situations, <laughs> backgrounds, issues, and you'll be able to give meaningful, safe, and progressive lessons to them. So where do we start? Breathing. Uh, you might do this exercise sitting, or you might do this lying down. If your back hurts, yeah have a back support behind you, or you can do it outside. You know, take a break from your task, you know, find a comfortable, you know, relaxing place outside so you can be with nature. Close your eyes and breathe. And you don't have to have mastery of your breath to do this. You just breathe normally as it is. And just listen as I give you some meaningful principles, helpful tips on how you can enjoy your breath. Don't adjust your breath. Well, become aware of your body. If, for example, you feel heaviness on one side, you might just shift to side to side. If the neck feels tired, the shoulders heavy, you might lightly move the joints around. Now keep breathing. And notice this force entering your nostrils. Yeah the air brushing the walls of your nostrils as you inspire, inhale, and feel the temperature of that breath, and the air, and the sound it produces, like this light, you know, hissing sound of the inhalation, like the sound of the wind brushing your skin, or even the sound the leaves and the branches create when they interact with each other, the breath or the air blowing through them. And exhale. Yeah. And then feel the warmth of your exhalation. And the sound is humming like your heart vibrates. Your chest cavity hums, your inner body. And keep practicing, don't adjust your breath. And right away, without you doing anything, yeah, your breath increases. Yeah, notice that how you become more expansive. Mm -hmm sensation mm. grows 
and you might feel this mild suspension at the top that you feel there's more space inside that you want to draw more energy so you can lift yeah, and access those <laughs> untapped spaces inside you and exhale the breath out completely yeah. breathing in mindfully observing the sound feeling the sensations next cell and do the same awareness and mindfulness of the breath And then just leave your breath for a moment, just breathe. And then feel your surroundings, the sounds you hear. Maybe the external sound, the sound of your home. If you're outside, the sound of nature, if there are cars passing by, the sound of maybe people. Or if you close the water and the gushing water there, the trees, even you know, the birds. Mm -hmm. And then come closer, mm -hmm. just a little bit towards the head. Yeah. Don't adjust your breath. I just want you to feel yeah. this bubble around you. And then when you breathe in, send your awareness, like you're lifting your optic nerves up. You might lightly cramp your forehead. That's good for your optic nerves. You might purse yeah, or wet your lips. And exhale, drop the jaw, relax your gums, loosen your teeth. You might even allow your head to fall one side. As you exhale, can you feel this like inherent force of the gravity descending upon your body? Yeah. And like the body drains. Yeah. Yes, that's our breath. When we inspire, yeah, we allow this force to nourish us. The grace of God enters the body so openly and fluidly, and we just allow, we just have to accept that by opening our brains and opening our minds and do nothing, and just breathe. And exhale completely out. And our heaviness drains together with the breath. Keep practicing. This is the essence of rejuvenation, really. Doing nothing. Nothing which I say overworked the nervous system. Yeah. Something so passive. Yeah. So we can preserve that energy. We can preserve our prana, the life force. And when the brain is not too much involved and there's less motor skills involved, then this energy we preserve will be utilized by our cells. So we can recover, restore, rejuvenate, revitalize our system. Now if you need to move, um, you might yeah, release side to side. But keep breathing. Right, and then together, yeah, if you're sitting, just circle around. If you're sitting on a chair, yeah, you might do a light side-to-side -side stretch there. If you're standing, yeah, you might roll the shoulders around. You might march your feet. Yeah, or you might you know, begin walking around and then just feel yeah, 
the earth as you walk through the joints of your feet. If you're sitting, feel the buttocks. Yeah. Yeah. And some imbalances and differences between the right and the left side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the shoulders. Beautiful. All right, to come back. Yeah, we we'll just rub our hands like this, creating the heat. Yeah. And let's relax our optic nerves. And then you can apply the heat you produce to any heavy spots. But for today's practice, yeah, we transfer the heat to our optic nerves and cupping our eyes. Yeah. And then breathe in here. And just allow your eyes to passively open behind the eyelids with the light pressure coming from your hands. And then slide out and then circle around your temples. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You may use your hands or fingers to lightly massage your scalp and then go down the indentation behind your skull like that. Yeah, that's where the breath enters the body. Yeah, the moment we inspire it, it goes up to the top of the spine, the medulla oblongata, and from there the brain processes it. Yeah, most go to the brain, and the rest descends upon our autonomic functions. Yeah, good. Roll the shoulders and we cross and up. Good. Yep. And then you may do a shavasana or relaxation after. Oh. That's a good practice on its own. And continue the rest of your day. And have a meaningful one. I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care. Namaste.